If you're anything like me, you don't know what all the perks do. Maybe you did at some point, or maybe you never have, but who could blame you either way? There's so many perks in this game nowadays, it's a daunting task to even attempt. My solution? Take it two perks at a time. Join me as we take a look at the survivor perks available in this week's Shrine of Secrets to learn the new stuff, remember the old, and ultimately determine whether or not they are worth purchasing. Welcome all to the Shrine Showcase. This week's featured perks are Diversion and Hyperfocus. If you're just looking for my quick thoughts, neither perk is great, and you'd be totally fine skipping them both. Uh, but let's look a little deeper, because I do think both of these perks are interesting to some degree. Diversion is an Adam Francis teachable perk added on September 18th, 2018 as part of the Shattered Bloodline DLC. It is best described as the first distraction perk ever added to Dead by Daylight and serves as just that, creating a distraction notification for the killer. It's simple, and it's supposed to be. Diversion is charged by being in the killer's terror radius without being in chase and is charged fully after 30 seconds. It can then be activated while crouching to throw a pebble. Where the pebble lands, a loud noise notification is created, as well as some scratch marks to further distract any killer that catches a glimpse. Speaking from my own experience using this perk when it was first introduced, it was awesome to be able to distract the killer with a new mechanic, when the only alternative at the time was uh, just a rushed action. Given its age, you could expect it to have gotten worse, uh, but it holds up pretty well. It can still be used effectively to end chases, lead the killer away from you, which is what it set out to do, and for that, I gave it a gold star. So with all that said, is it a good perk? Not really. Sometimes it'll work, more often times it'll not. Uh, if you do want to use it, it's important to remember it's just a distraction for killer, but also for you. You need to use it at times when the killer isn't actively doing something, or more specifically chasing someone. There is a lot you can do to sell the illusion, but at the end of the day, that's all it is. It can be ignored or entirely unnoticed. Not to mention if the killer ever sees you do it or just figures it out, it's entirely useless. This perk has a lot of downsides to it. If you can enjoy the simplicity of just throwing a rock in all the madness that is Dead by Daylight, then you'll enjoy this perk. If you can, I think this perk would be worth picking up. Very good. Hyperfocus is a Rebecca Chambers perk. It was added August 30th, 2022 as part of the Resident Evil Project W DLC. It is best described as a skill check perk, but only because I can't think of any better way to categorize it. Hyperfocus gains stacks by hitting great skill checks consecutively, with each stack increasing both the chances of triggering another skill check and the speed of that skill check. It also increases the actual bonus progress you get by hitting that great skill check by 30%, meaning progress can be gained rapidly through skill checks when everything goes right. There's really only two reasons you want to use this perk, because its overall effects are entirely dependent on whether or not you are good at skill checks. Reason number one is you can hit skill checks consistently, even on bad ping. If you are confident in your abilities, then this perk is an obvious choice, as its effects are purely good. Pairing it with perks like Fogwise or Deadline can be especially helpful, allowing you to keep tabs on the killer as often as you're hitting skill checks. Oh my gosh. But what if you aren't good at skill checks? Well, that's the second reason. Just by running this perk trying to consistently hit great skill checks, I've noticeably improved overall. It it's probably the single best perk to run in the game if you're wanting to improve in that area, and for that I can't really bash it too much. The true issue with this perk is not with the perk specifically, but with skill checks as a whole. They're, uh, they're random, which makes running builds like this feel super unrewarding. You could hit two or three great skill checks with hyperfocus, be using deadline while injured to increase the chances of triggering more skill checks even further, and still just never trigger one. Until skill check triggering becomes more reliable, this perk will continue to see no use, and for that I can't really recommend you spend your shards on it this week. Anyways, guys, that's all for me. Until next week, peace. <laughs> what a wild couple of minutes. What a, what a, what a, what a, what a...